tired of having your saves all over different computers, there's a better way to do it automatically. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, Chad Johnson. This is a show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. One problem with Minecraft is that there is no cloud save feature. All of your worlds are located on the computer that you created them on. But nowadays, a lot of people have a bunch of different computers that they play Minecraft on. Maybe one at school, at home, maybe your own laptop, and none of these will sync saves together. For this tip, there are two things that will make having all your saves sync across all your computers much, much easier. First is a new feature in the 1.6 launcher that we couldn't do up till now. Second has nothing to do with Minecraft at all. This is a tool that we'll have to get working on our, all of the computers that we want to sync uh, our saves with. It's called cloud storage. You could use Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft SkyDrive. The idea is that you'll have one folder on your computer that anything you can place into that folder will upload to a storage locker on the internet. And then you can use the same service on other computers and the two folders will work really hard to be exactly the same. Now, I'm not going to go through choosing and installing one of these, uh, but you can head on over to the show notes and we'll have links to the three that I just mentioned and a few extra notes about them. I'm going to assume that you've already set this up and have one of these synced folders on your computer. Now, over on the computer, open up Minecraft as you normally do, and you're going to be looking for this profile area. I'm going to choose the profile that I'm going to play with and then choose Edit Profile. The new option I was talking about that hasn't been in previous games is this game directories selection. Now there is a small problem with this, is, and that is that there's no way to browse for the folder. You have to manually type in the path of the folder that Minecraft should save um, all of your saves in. And what are the things that are saved in your game directory? Well, these are things like resource pack, uh, world saves, and even uh, your achievements. So, in order to get this uh, path, which we need for this screen, and because, once again, there's no browse button, we gotta get it some way, what you're gonna do is navigate over to the folder that you want to save things in. So for this demonstration, I am going to use Dropbox. Uh, that's just because I've been on the service for a while. I'm gonna create a new uh, folder and call it Minecraft saves. Now this can be named anything, uh, no need to uh, be careful about naming it. Now what we need is that file path and there's no easy way to copy that file path. I can't just right click and say copy path. What I'm going to do is open up a new finder window on the Mac. If you're a PC user, we'll get to you in just a second. And you can go to go and go to folder. And this will bring down a, uh, a little path thing. If this is filled in, make sure that you delete whatever is filled in. Now, uh, from the other finder window, we'll take this folder and drag it over into that text field, and it will uh, write out uh, everything uh, that you need. Now, you can copy this and bring it on over to Minecraft and paste it in. And now, this is working within that Dropbox folder, that synced folder, so we can use that service to its full advantage. If you are on the PC, what you'll do is find that synced folder, create whatever folder you want, you can name it whatever, and then uh, instead of just right clicking on that folder, hold down shift and then right click and you can choose copy as path. So now that we have this chosen, let's go ahead and choose save profile and if I go ahead and uh, hit play the game, uh, it will go ahead and populate that uh, folder with all of the things that will be saved there. So if I jump in, you can see that the options.txt, so uh, all of your music uh, options, if you turn down uh, maybe game uh, music or and turned up uh, game audio, your resource packs, your saves, and your stats uh, is, are all there. And so you never have to mess with those again. 
Now, on the second computer that you want to add to that synced file, all you have to do is set up the same synced file on, on the computer, and then when you uh, have a new profile, go ahead and point it to that folder. And that's it. Now, every time you save the game, these folders will work, work for you so that these are exactly similar. Now, one thing to point out. Some people may think that this is how you set up a multiplayer server. That's not really how this works. You can't have two people open the same save file and be in the same game. That's a completely different strategy. Thank you so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you would like to watch future episodes, make sure you head on over to twit.tv slash OMG Craft and click the subscribe button. If you want show notes to all of the things I talked about earlier, head on over to omgcraft.com. And uh, that's it for this episode. Thanks so much. Bye.